Hey, this is Farmer Brad, and I'm here on location out in California, where it all started. Back here, there used to be a chicken coop, and I ended up uh, have it raising my first uh, set of chickens on my own. And then over next to it was a garden. So we we're out here visiting some family, and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Mike, Garrett, and Jennifer. Uh, recently saw them at a birthday party and uh, just wanted to give them a shout out. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And uh, so while I'm out here in California, we've been out here for uh, quite some time. And one thing that has helped with managing animals from afar, I do have a coworker that will check on the animals every couple days. Uh, but let me show you what I have on my phone and let me bring it up here for you so you might be able to see I have the cam and right now it's loading my sheep in my barn so this ends up working as a great way to sort of problem solve and stuff um, and be able to monitor things especially uh, while we were out here we end up having a little baby lamb and so I was able to review footage, making sure that that little lamb ended up getting uh, its uh, nursing well uh, for the get-go and stuff. So there's one of the sheep right now in Indiana. I've also ended up putting a camera near the pond. And we've had some issues lately of... The pond overflowing so this will give me an idea of whether or not the pond is overflowing then another camera angle is inside where the sheep sleep most of the time so looks like right now they are out on outside uh, just enjoying the weather we currently have some snow back in Indiana but yeah so needless to say that that is a great helpful tool to be able to monitor and uh, get an idea of uh, what's happening. I'm also able to uh, see snapshots of motion detection, and so I can just go through those and uh, see if there's any issues that I need uh, my coworker to handle on the farm while we're away. Um, it can be very difficult to be able to get away as uh, doing some hobby farming. Uh, some of the things that I did to help um, get that in, uh, squared away was I got the mother of all chicken waters uh, back up and running I got a um, I did some wiring so that that was all squared away and wasn't going to burn down the barn so their water and then their feeder can stockpile about three bags of feed in there then when we get back to Indiana what I plan on doing is using the, the large uh, chicken tractor, converting that over into a portable movable shed uh, for the sheep, almost like a miniature barn. And then I'll be able to move that out in the pasture to be able to separate the rams from the mama and the, the lamb. Yeah, so out in California in uh, 2014, there was enough space back here with where we were living at at the time and so I found a place in El Monte that had baby chicks and so this is sort of where the Farmer Brad saga started uh, doing some gardening unfortunately the drought hit pretty hard so I ended up having to give up on the garden um, it just wasn't worth it uh, trying to keep that going with the uh, terrible heat um, but yeah the uh, we were able to take three chickens with us from California to Indiana and uh, if you've been following the channel I think I had mentioned that uh, Goldie had been the last one remaining uh, unfortunately something had gotten her Goldie ended up having some offspring so some of my Rhode Island Reds do have a little bit of Goldie there so that saga continues uh, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video I'll put the links in the description for the uh, wise cam it's a great thing to help with uh, the farm